Hey guys, I'm here with Mike Mellicamp, CEO and founder of V-Knives and my partner on the Thin Green Line Trailblazer. But we've got a cool new product, a 3V V-Knives uh, triple sharpener that we're going to use tonight to do some kitchen cutlery touch-ups that drastically need it. And uh, cut some meat. And <laughs> we're going to do a little yeah, meat that right. cut in. <laughs> so Mike, I'm going to go ahead and sink this thing down to show that any flat surface, you can lock this down with the suction cups. Right now we're on a quartz counter. You can do this on a picnic bench. You know, the tailgate of your truck, a flat board on a construction site. This thing is very lightweight and uh, usable in the field pretty much anywhere. It suctions down very easily. Once you get it nice and snug with the suction cups, which we're at now, three different sharpening segments. In this particular case, Mike, what are we gonna do and how do we start with this cool design? Well, you got diamond, you got carbide, you got ceramic, and if you take these and pinch them in these little arms, you'll see that they move back and forth to set the angle. I think for this right now to touch up the edge, we'll just leave it at a 40 degree inclusive, which gives you a 20 degree each side of the knife, which by the way, I think the best knife for cutting this meat is gonna be the oh, yeah. Diafire by Via <laughs> Knives. That's one of our chef knives with um, the 8CR14 MOV blade steel. Very good blade steel, but we recommend that when you use your knives in the kitchen to keep a good maintenance on them that you pull the knife out of the drawer, you give it a couple of swipes, you do the work, you clean it, give it a couple more swipes back in the drawer. Primarily on the ceramic, because if you maintain it that way, you really don't have to sharpen it over and over. And it's always just an easy right. cleanup. And, yep, and pretty it's much, always sharp. Yeah, yeah, pretty much cut sharp ready. So let's get that thing okay. ready, cut some meat. So working off this Die Fire Emerald, which we use all the time, I mean daily. It's a great, great knife, great knife in the kitchen for vegetables, for meat, for wild game fish and things like that. But to start it, we're using the ceramic edge, like you said, because it's not that dull. So we're doing a touch up of polish, right? Exactly, yep. That's gonna be the fine. It's a rough, medium fine. Okay. Know. So walk me through, bud, where I wanna start for everybody watching and how we so just So basically, it up. Uh, you can just uh, start just right in the middle and drag it straight through. And you'll see it kind of flex there. And you see how I'm kind of just guiding it with my other hand there. Okay. And it, it's pretty intuitive. I mean, it just, it kind of flexes with you and you just kind of pull it through there. And really we're just giving it a few swipes because obviously, like I checked your knife earlier and it's pretty damn sharp. So you're just going to give it a few swipes okay. and um, yeah. just kind of give it a good guide till we get a little bit of flex bend in yep. that ceramic nice guide. Yep. Nice. Oh yeah, you can, you can see uh, some of that carbon depositing on the ceramic mm -hmm. uh, sharpener, if you will. Right. And that's telling you that you're getting that edge, right Mike? Yep, exactly, and, and you're hitting the edge, you wanna hit the edge rather than the shoulder. That's why I said put it out to like that um, 40 degree inclusive angle. So those 20 degrees on each side, you're gonna catch the edge angle with just about every production knife using that. Looks good. Cool. All right, well, let's have a let's have a look at this thing. And it, test. It, well, it looks like it's razor sharp and you know, I don't wanna be barbaric and uh, <laughs> especially during COVID-19, I don't wanna start shaving my hair with it and stuff, but it is it is really nasty razor sharp. So I think right now we'll go ahead and cut the meat. Maybe I should have sharpened and let you cut the meat. But anyway, we're just gonna see how this just goes through this meat here. And um, it's, it's pretty nice, it's pretty effortless and it just goes right through there. Um, oh yeah, that's just, just beautiful. I mean, it's just making perfect little slices. I mean, we can make these really super thin. We're not damaging the meat any. It's not like we're having to saw through it with a serrated blade. It's right. just, it's really nice. It's like a scalpel. And having a sharp knife like this is really super important, especially when you're cutting stuff like poultry and fish that right. seems to be, especially when it's um, when it's not cooked yet and you wanna make, you know, cut those uh, breast fillets and stuff like that then you wanna have a razor sharp knife because you know they're kind of slimy and they move around a little bit. Right. And you can't cut that kind of meat unless you have a razor sharp knife. So this is kind of a game changer in the kitchen. It's great because we're always doing a lot of heavy cutting in the kitchen and those right. are the blades that get the dullest, the quickest, yeah. that don't get maintained. Yeah, and you can see there's no damage to the meat. It's mm -hmm. like you, you don't have this Perfect. like sawed, serrated looking yeah. jagged you know, piece. And so it's really nice for the presentation as well. So, awesome. Yeah.